You're saying that the Azeris have tremendous military power. Mm -hmm. um, where are they getting their equipment from? Well, they got most of it from the Soviet army. When the Soviet army was dissolved, uh, they got their portion, quote unquote. But they've also bought a lot from other Soviet republics. They've gotten some from the Ukraine. Um, they've gotten equipment from Turkey, uh, Soviet arms manufactured in East Germany, the, 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 the ex-East Germany. Uh, and an awful lot of those arms were sent to Turkey, and Turkey sent those arms uh, to Azerbaijan. We've captured uh, East German-made Kalashnikovs, things like that. Um, yeah, mostly like that. They, they buy arms. They've gotten their arms from the ex-Soviet army, and uh, one portion has been sent from Turkey. And you? We? Most of our arms, all these tanks, we've got both light and heavy tanks, our artillery, almost all of it has been captured from Azerbaijan. I'm the commander of Marduni. In the, in the region of Marduni, we, since Ju from, from June 28th until now, we have either completely destroyed or captured 55 heavy tanks, T-72 tanks, 24 light tanks, these BMPs, and 15 other lighter armored uh, vehicles, armored personnel carriers, things like that, as well as 25 pieces of artillery, uh, of heavy artillery, not including light mortars and junk like that and other arms. Uh, the bulk of what we have, of what we fight with, has been captured from Azerbaijan. Just in the last fighting here in Mardegert, they've captured about 20 heavy tanks. T-72s, most of them, two T-64s, one T-54. Captured an awful lot of equipment. In other words, most of what we have comes from Azerbaijan itself. Mm. It's been rough, huh? Huh? It's been rough. It's been very rough, very, very rough. It's a long fight. It's a long fight, and um, I don't know. It's amazing that Azerbaijan is still fighting this war. Like I said, an awful lot of Aussies realize that it's not their country. Then there are other people, you know, the other national minorities in Azerbaijan that are being totally exploited in this war. The Kurds were used against us in Lachin, and, uh, you know, that had absolutely nothing to do with their own interests. The uh, Talish and Lesgi nationalities are being used against us. Uh, it's, it's, it's very interesting that a very high proportion of the bodies we've what, recovered, the, uh, of the Azri soldiers' bodies that we recovered, are either Talish or Lesgi. And we get their passports, so we take their passports off their bodies and things of their other ID. And a very high proportion of them are not even Aussie. They're from the other national minorities. And that reminds me of the Turkish policy at the beginning of this century and end of the 19th century, where they used the Kurds against the Armenians. They used the Kurds to massacre the Armenians. And then once the Armenians were pretty much massacred, they started deporting the Kurds and massacring Kurds. In other words, uh, they're setting non azeri national minorities against us in this war, knowing that the more of those youth that are killed, the better for the, what, chauvinist Azeri authorities. In other words, they get rid of those national minorities. And at the same time, they uh, try to crush the Armenians here. And uh, it's amazing to me that those national minorities don't have more Aren't, aren't more awake. They're not more conscious of what's going on. Because for us, it's very, very clear what's going on. They're being used against us. And if, if, if Azerbaijan succeeds in crushing the Armenian movement here, they'll begin crushing the Talish. They'll begin uh, pressing the Lesgis. And uh, things will get even worse for them. Um, it's been also written that uh, there are some human rights violations being committed by Armenian people at the moment. Yes, let me let me say that in this war, 
in this war, there have been violations. Uh, most, uh, yeah, the, the, the biggest violation is by Azerbaijan against our whole people, against our whole people. That's the biggest and most what uh, outrageous violation uh, and that they're that they're killing our people burning our villages uh, in an effort to retain control of part of the armenian homeland something that has absolutely nothing to do with their own country that's the biggest uh, absurdity but during this war like during just about every war in the world not just about but really every war in the world um, there have been there have been errors committed, errors that should never have been committed. There have been, um, what? The Armenian side has also made mistakes. But let me say that those mistakes, are, they're, they're, there's absolutely no way of comparing uh, the violations committed by Armenians with the violations committed by Azerbaijan. Absolutely no way. In no way whatsoever can you compare the two. Ballus. <laughs> 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 